Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Right, so we will take landfill, which is going to go here. And here, like this, it's going to go in a double. So then that one will go there and there. And then we will go all the way round. We come down under here, like this. And then that one is going to get to that point right there. So I want to take landfill here, I think it is. It's got to go up by one from that point. There, like that. And put that one on there. And then we go underneath. And then that comes down. And it actually goes right onto that one there which has then got to be moved over. So we'll just move that over by one square. And then I can take landfill and I can go here and here. And I can fill out this and just make a little square like that. So it'll be neat and tidy. And then that one will go to that point there. Now I've run out of the underground belt. So we need to go and get a few more of them. I've got guns. Green electronics is now done, which means that then we can go into green science packs down here. Key logistic, this is. We have now unlocked a key logistic. This in here is barreling pump. I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, we've got the green algae processing, which is probably going to be useful. I'll go with the green science pack. This is the one that we want. Start that research right there. Let's just see if this is actually doing... It is. It is researching. It is in there. It is going through it. So we can let that one work its way through. How many has that one got to do, by the way? It's got to do 128. And they're 15 seconds a pop. So that one's going to take a little while to work through. Now, while we wait for that one to do whatever it's going to do, we're going to go for a mosey over this way. I need to go back to the belts. Grab more underground belts. I've got 20 guns now ready to build and i'm gonna make a wall of gun turrets down there so that hopefully we are able to withstand a at least a small invasion i don't know how much of an invasion we're going to be able to cope with but we should be able to withstand at least a small invasion even if we can't go for a really big invasion Right, that'll probably do there. Uh, if I'm going to make... I need cellulose fiber to be able to make more of these. Three, four, five, six. Yes, it's cellulose fiber that I need for that. Right, let's go and find some more cellulose fiber then. Uh, where is that? Here is the cellulose fiber, right here. I go into that corner right there and run all the way along here and all the way up there that is giving me 213 cellulose fiber make a few more of them right that's lots and lots of cellulose fibers and i've got lots of underground belts so we should now be able to wend our merry way all the way down here and i can start connecting some of this up now let's have a look no, I have actually got that kind of... Well, I suppose I could remove these over this side. That one can go... That one can go because I'm over here is where I'm wanting to end up. So that one can go as well and you can go. And then I need to be able to get these to join up down here. I don't want to split up. I want that one. That's the line that we're going to be wanting to travel not going to be able to go all the way across here. I need to put one piece of landfill in there. And that should allow... Already. Uh, we're in trouble. We're already in... There's nothing here. <laughs> oh no. Where have they come from? Have they just like turned up? Have they expanded from somewhere? If they if they launch if they'd launch an attack, they'd be going further up. I think that they've just expanded to that point. They're putting down a new town. 
A new bug city. But what they've done is they've... Well, they haven't destroyed the power lines, though. Power lines are intact, but what they've done is they've just created a new bug city down here. Right, time is running out. Time is definitely running out. We have got to be even more vigilant with this. All right, let's go over this way. And uh, that's running down through there. I've got you over this side. I will put you up there. And that one will go here like this. And then down there. And then to there, like that. Right. And then that one. One, two, three, and over down that way. And then you over, down, and down onto there. That will then run through. We need to go around this way. I need to bring a belt coming up. And join that one into there. That will allow the material to run through down onto this little bit of bridge. I then want to put that one here like this. How far out does that want to go? That only wants to go out about there, I think. No, it's, it's, it's got to go to that one. And then i got to have the belt going out, down, like this, and down here. Right. Now, I'm going to take this as an underground belt. And we're going to run underground belt down here. Right the way down through this bit of island right here. Let's get rid of these trees. Here. There we go, like that. And then we can go on a little bit further. Let's bring you down to there. Okay, so I've now got to get... I want to get down here. This this is where we're going. This is, this is going to be our safe zone down here. Um, this is where we've got to stop the aliens from being able to get... Do not want them to be able to go any further than that. So we'll reach this point here. And I think we'll just belt it from this point. Uh, if I run a belt from here and bring it over, I can sort of see what I'm doing a little bit better without having the bullets clouding everything up for a minute. Uh, bring you back over here like that. Oops. All right, fine. We'll put it in there and I'll just get rid of those two. And uh, then we'll come down here like this. Now, I'm pretty sure there are ways that I can do this to help protect me and the base. And also, at the same time, I can sort of, like, this is our funnel point right here. This, this is where the aliens are going to be attacking. Now, the downside to this is that they are under pollution right there. The pollution is spreading pretty rapidly, so it's not going to take long before it reaches this huge base down here. They will probably want to run up and take a little look at Alex. I've got power consumption is already going through the roof. You look at power consumption there. Satisfaction versus consumption and so on. We've got issues with that as well. So I want to look in here. I don't have enough coal being produced. That's that's actually the issue. Is I just don't have enough coal being produced. That will start to dial. That will just keep dialing backwards until it reaches a, a sort of no-go point, which is is not great. We don't really want it to be doing that. Um, but I've got this that I need to sort of work through first. So you need to get to that point, and then I want you to go on a little bit further than that. Uh, which means I need to have the landfill. Let's put the landfill on here, shall we? Let's put that down there. It'll be a lot easier if I've got it. So we put... I'm going to put landfill out like this. There. I'm going to put a few of them together. Now, they shouldn't be able to get across that. They will be able to... The, the spitters will be able to reach it, but... I'm sort of hoping that we will be able to do something about that. Right. So I've got a gun can go here. And then a gun can go here. And a gun can go here like this. Right. And then what we want to do is we actually want to put landfill 
down there like that and a little bit out that way and then this goes here goes out by one and then it goes down there like that i put an inserter one two three like that and i put a power pole one and two in there so i've now got three guns in there that should be able to be loaded up. Uh, the stone wall. There is no stone wall down here unfortunately. Which means that when you remove the stone wall it gets dismantled. It gets taken apart into respective smaller pieces. So I'll put a piece down there and I'll put a piece there. So we've got a bit of stone wall. They've got to climb through in order to be able to do anything. Which is kind of good because it means that we should get some warning of when they're approaching, right? They've got to get across that. That's the, the bit that they've got to break across. And then the guns can shoot at them while they're trying to get across there. And I've only got three guns there. I kind of need to split that out and do more. If I was to... I guess we can clear some of this. Clear that one there. Let's, let's get more guns. More guns is not going to hurt, so I'll put one over here. They don't reach in here, so I'll put another one. Yeah, and another one right there, like that. And then another gun up here. Could be argued, I suppose, that I'm going a little bit overboard with my guns. I've seen these alien invasions before. They are savage. They take no prisoners. Okay? Aliens are absolutely savage. They do not take prisoners. We don't want to be victim of one of these attacks. We absolutely do not want to be the victim of one of these attacks. We do not want to be a statistic... We can't afford to be a statistic, so I'm going to bring that one down there like that. Actually, I'm just going to take that all the way across over to here like this. Uh, back by one. You know what? No, that's going to go down to there. And then that's going to go here like this. Uh, it's going to stop there. So then I'm going to have one here. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put one there. This one here, I'm going to pick up from that corner like that that one will stay from there and then this one over here that one's going to pick up from over there so we're picking up from the belt and then i've got four more guns there that are being manned i need to put power for both these there's the power line that can go into there and another power line over here so we've got all of them are now equipped with power. I can run up here and then I can put belt, 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 belt. There. Right. Then we'll run up and we'll deal with the power issue. Power, I'm not quite so concerned about. I've got 139 electric mining drills here, so all I need to do is just get a little bit more coal up and running, and we will be absolutely tickety-boo and fine. The problem we've got is that everything is slowing down fairly rapidly. Um, and as it slows, it basically it's a, a negative feedback loop that we've now got underway. As it slows down more, the drills slow down more, which puts less coal going through, which slows everything down. Um, and it negatively feeds back right the way through the whole thing. So I've got 10 firearm magazines in each of these guns. Every single one of them is able to reach that wall there. Uh, biters can't reach these over here, only spitters. Uh, I'm hoping that they won't be able to reach any of them. I'm hoping that the aliens can't get across the water, but we will have to wait and see on that point. Now, head back up and let's take care of this negative feedback loop that is developing on our coal field. I've got, like I said, I've got 139 electric mining drills that I'm running around with, so I'm not overly concerned about my um, power issues. I just need to get some more mining drills down so that I can put some more coal going along that line. More coal going along the line means that we will very, very rapidly take care of any of the power issues that are currently developing. Now, where is that coal? Oh, it's, it's over that way, right. Um, 
it would help if we went the correct way. So we'll run all the way over this side, over here, like this, and... Right, well, I've got that line there. That goes up as far as there, so if I was to put a line of these right here, I would cover all of the coal field anyway. So I'm going to go with a line... That's where it needs to go, right there. I put a line of those all the way along there like that. They are actually fully powered. Well, most of them are fully powered. And we'll put another line along there like that. And then we will put... I've got room for two more in here. One there. And one there like that. And then we will put a belt in here. That will run all the way along here, and then it will feed into this belt up here. It goes up over like that, and then I put that one in there, which will feed everything in. And then I take these, which I don't have enough of, so we want to go to Angel's Power. And I want to make, uh, well, I'll make 80 of them there, just, well, nearly 90. And then we will run along here. We will add in the extra little tiny bit of power that is needed. So I just want to put a power pole there to get them. And then I want one over there. And then that one's got to go there. I just want to... Right, I've now got enough being made, I think. I put that one all the way along there. So that's running as well. And I will put that one into there. Okay, so I have joined those in, but the power has now deteriorated to the point where it's almost non-existent. I did join in, look at that. And this is the, going to be the problem, is that these are now running so slowly that I don't have any power anywhere. I got 2.4 megawatts. And that's coming in from the power stations that I've got over here. And even those aren't really doing a great deal because they're fast using up the coal that we've got. I do have 200 coal here. Wait, that's suddenly kicked up. That's suddenly kicked up a gear. More coal going in. That is, that is kicking it up a gear. Right, that's good. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put half of it in there. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to put half of it in there. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to drop half of it in there. That's got a few more of them running. There's just a few bits of coal going in there. And then if I look on here, we've, like, production. We're 15 out of 86. But what that should have done, that little burst that I just put on there, look at this extra coal that is now running through. That should be just enough, once it reaches, once it gets down there, it should be just enough to rescue the situation. I really hope it is anyway. It's gone down to nine. I need more coal. I'm going to have to go and get some more. Off the, if I got it in a, I'm sure I've got coal in a chest somewhere. Or did I not put any back in it? Oh, yes, I did. Right. Ideal. Right. Let's grab all of the coal that I can get, and we'll run this down. This is what we need. This is going to save the day. You do have to be very, very careful with your coal supply. If you're not, if you accidentally allow your coal supply to um, drop without paying attention to it you will end up paying the price and if you're reliant on power 100 percent to do the things that you need to do in this game right if i can put 200 in each of these like this 23 up in that one there i've now dumped in a load of extra power so I've, i know that i've got 200 stacked in these that's gonna power them for a little while that's taken us up to 38. That should, I'm hoping, be enough to kickstart the full supply all the way back over here. Let's have a look. That's looking better. That's looking a lot more healthy. The amount of coal that is now running out of here, I'm hoping, will be just enough to keep it running. Right, that belt is looking nice and full all the way back through. 
That's going to work its way back up through on here. We're looking at 34 megawatts on there. That side is not going to change for a minute. And now I've got this extra coal coming up through. And it's getting thicker on the ground over here as well. I need to get more coal coming in. I need to go and do this again. I need to get another belt. Another round of them. So let's do that. Let's remove you. And we'll remove you as well. And then we'll go over here and remove uh, that one. Like that. And then we will take the mining drills like this. Wants to go up by one. There. And I want to put a line of them down like that. Right, now what I can't do is I can't join it onto there because I don't have... Well, actually I could. I could create some filters on here. So that one needs to go up a bit. There, which means that that one needs to go. And then and do the same down through here. So this is where I've got to start being a little bit more careful. That one is okay. That one, I well, I, I just won't put anything in there for a minute. And then I can go back down here. Run that all the way down here and down that way. Bring you over there like that and join that one in there. Okay, so that's joined in. It's already a full belt going in here. And that full belt is rapidly filling up everything that's in here anyway. And I've got full power again. So we're it's, it's now looking a lot healthier. It's just that we are probably going to want a fuller belt. I don't think at the moment that we're going to be able to completely fill all of the... Or maybe we will. Ah, maybe we will actually. Now that it's, it's sort of raised up enough, it, it does look like it's actually going to fill the belt and the, the belt is going to back all the way up. That's a good thing. That's actually a really, really good thing. Now, if I put you in here, I will then walk my way along this and just add in a couple of extra bits in here and that one right there. Right. Lots of coal. I have absolutely boatloads of coal. All of it is heading over that way for our power station. So that's a good thing. That's, that's, that's all good so far. This is our problem down here. And I got no way of uncovering that now. I don't want to go taking a walk down over there. I'm not risking it. You down here, you're still going. You're now sector scanning and it's working well. Um, so we've uncovered more stuff down here. But no, this is definitely not joined on. It looks like this is a separate island entity coming down here. Um, they've just done their usual expansion. However, that is underneath a load of pollution. Pollution hasn't spread down here. It's, got, it's going across a forest, which does slow it down. I got pollution about to be had up here. Pollution has been had here in places. Not a lot that we can do about any of that. Uh, green science packs are just about done. So I've got a number of different things regarding logistics that we now want to change over and add and, and, and do differently and so on. First and foremost, we've got this bit down here. There is that one all finished. And I guess that's partly why we went up, we ramped up our power, because we started doing a whole load of those. So, next on the list, if I'm to get those, I need to actually be making green science analyzers. To make those, I need a green circuit, a red science analyzer, and a force analyzer. Oh. That requires a lot of ingredients. Enhancement block 2, tin servo motors, electronic parts, enhancement block 1. Electronics block 2. Uh, what about you? You've got energy data cores, red science analyzers. Uh, let's actually go with weapon shooting speed. Let's start researching military a little bit. We are, I think, going to be very, very glad of military. So we want to have a look through this. We've got the Angels Tech in there. It's the Green Science Analyzers and the Force Analyzers right there. I need solder and steel to make a Force Analyzer. 
We've got a good supply of solder over here, so that's not really going to be an issue. The green, we need red and those four, uh, the aforementioned force analyzers. Uh, then we need the green circuits, so intermediate products, angels components. Here we go. A green board. We need liquid resin. To be able to make this, we have to have liquid resin. We cannot do anything now without liquid resin. So we want to go to mineralized water in here. And we want to change that one so that we can find out how to make, that's fuel oil there, liquid resin craft. There are six possible ways to make liquid resin. We need raw bio resin and ethanol gas. We need just regular resin, which you make from wood and ethanol gas. Now, resin is easy to get. Ten wood makes one resin. Or 40 liquid resin makes that, but uh, we don't have that. And this one we've already got. We've already got that recipe. So we can do that. We can make the resin and we can do it from there. Um, if I back up to here, four resin and ten, uh, 100 ethanol gas makes 10 to 40 liquid resin. So that's a nice, easy one. We can already do that. That's urea, melamine, um, bisphenol. None of those are able. Well, we can do this with ethanol gas, and we can do this with ethanol gas. So to make ethanol gas, we need compost and... Oh, sorry. We need 100 fermentation base, and that makes compost and ethanol gas. Fermentation base, in order to make that, we need corn, fruit, fish oil which is from the fish pressing. More fish oil. We need corn or we need fruit. And to do that, you need gardens to get seeds. Although we have got some seeds, so we might be able to do that without any more gardens. It's going to make life rather difficult for us. Uh, we can go with nutrient pulp, but that needs nutrient paste in there, um, which is bottled ethanol gas. Right. I've got fermentation process unlocked already. That's one that we've got. Nutrient paste right here. That one needs basic processing technology level 2 so that then we can unlock nutrient paste. Um, and that gets us nutrient pulp from nuts, from pips, fruit, beans, nutrient pulp. Oh, that breaks down into other items. Yeah, that's not going to help us. That's not going to benefit us doing it that way. Right, so we don't want to do that. We can't, like, nutrient nutrient pulp isn't going to help us, so we, we, we need the fermentation base by the look of it. Four resin and ethanol gas. Fermentation or nutrient pulp. We've got, we got to have ethanol gas to be able to do this. This here, liquid resin from formaldehyde and urea, that is a more advanced, that is resin 1 technology here, which is on down the list a little bit. Uh, we're not ready to move to that one yet. So we're back onto these. 40 ethanol, so I mean less ethanol gas, but then getting raw bioresin. A temperate tree seed and 5 soil and 50 water. Gives us four raw bioresin and two trees. Alright. That's one way of doing it. And then this one, which is an advanced temperate tree arboretum there. Uh, doesn't make any difference. So temperate tree seed, five soil, that gives two trees and raw bioresin. But I still need to be able to make the ethanol gas. So, and... We can't do it with that. We need the fermentation base. In order to be able to do this, we have to have fermentation base. We have no choice. We've got to have fermentation base. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirt. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.